We want to add metal inserts into this guide. By the way, this was made in Exaplan and then imported into Blender. Note that we do not have a coordination system. In the items, we can see all of them are zero. How do we put our cutters in the correct location? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Click on the tab key, then Alt A to deselect all the vertices. Make sure you can, this is set on cursor, so select this one. Then because we cannot Alt left click to select the edge loop going around it, the geometry is too complicated, we're going to select a few vertices along the perimeter of the circle. So here I've selected one, shift left click, so we're going to go straight across to the other side. And then we're going to click on another one on this side, and another one on this side. So that's, that's four. Let's just add a few more to that. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to click on shift D. Hold the shift down and then click on D on the keyboard and then click on enter. Now this has duplicated these vertices, so it's a double up of these vertices. Click on P on the keyboard, and then click on selection. Then tab to get out of it. Notice how our vertices have been duplicated. Next, we're going to click on tab to go into edit mode, A, and then F on the keyboard. Enter. Select all of the vertices, so A. Now we're going to go to the guide and we're going to make a coordination based on this face. Go down to the folder where it says metal inserts. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a Blender coordination for this object. Click on that. You'll now notice that there's the widget, the arrows are going in the correct direction, and we have a coordination. Locations have been set up and rotations have been set up. We're going to do the exact same for the other side. Tab to enter, and then select a few vertices. Shift D, enter, P by selection, tab to get out of it, select your vertices, tab A and F, go to the guide, and you're going to click create blender coordination. All right, so we've got this object, and we've got this object. We are now able to insert our guide cutters. Go to your components module and look for the cutter that you need for the metal insert. In this case, a sticker. We're going to go to the Noble Buy Care and we're going to choose the regular platform. Append that into the scene. We want two of these, so Shift D. Go back to the guide module. And then this one becomes our destination, and this becomes match position to destination. Note how this one is incorrect. This is because the normal was in the facing in the incorrect direction. Select it and rotate it. Now we're going to use the R key, rotate it to however you want to have it. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. This is our destination. Select that one and then match position to destination. Same thing, rotate it around. And then R key to rotate it. Now we can see there's not, en there's not much space going around here. So if you do decide to use Exoplan or whatever, make sure these 
a little bit bigger because the inserts are always a little bit bigger. So here we're not going to have much space and also here we're not going to have much space. Finally we would like to cut the guide. Notice that these inserts now have the order numbers included which makes ordering way more simpler. Make sure that you select the object. This object is called ring. Now click on insert clearance. The following is going to prompt us to put a clearance between the cutters and the actual guide. This will depend on your printer resin combo, so if it is too tight or too loose you can adjust it over here. Click on make hole for insert. This is what your guide looks like now. Once you order these components, they should fit into the cavities. Over here we are very thin, but this cannot be avoided at this stage. Make sure that you click on update module to get the new scripts. And also when you click on implant guide, you should be able to see the version in the lower left hand corner.